Energy of the nucleus. How much work is needed to assemble an atomic nucleus containing three protons, such as lithium, if we model it as an equilateral triangle of side A equals 2 times 10 to minus 15 meters, with a proton at each vertex? Assume the protons started from very far away. So this is the configuration. We are bringing three charges, Q1, Q2, Q3. Because it's a proton, it has plus E, plus the electron charge. And uh, they form an equilateral triangle with uh, sides A. And they are each at the vertex of this uh, triangle. So I call the unit vector that points from Q1 towards Q2 R12 hat, from Q1 towards Q3 R13 hat, and from Q2 towards Q3 R23 hat. Now, uh, the first task is to bring Q1 from infinity. So when I bring Q1 from infinity, uh, when there is no other charge, Q2 or Q3, Q2 and Q3 are still at infinity. Since there is no electric field this Q1 will see, this will cost no energy. So bringing uh, Q1 from infinity, since there is no electric field, uh, this will cost how much energy? Zero energy. All right, now I'm bringing Q2 from infinity. Now, this is the situation. Q1 is already here. I'm bringing Q2 from infinity. So what happens is because Q1 creates an electric field at the point where I'm, I'm, uh, I would like to place Q2, this is going to feel a repulsive force from uh, Q1. So bringing Q2 from infinity to R is equal to A, this is going to feel an electric field. So what is that electric field? It's the electric field created by Q1. And how much is that electric field? It's Coulomb's constant K, the charge Q1, divided by R12 square in R12 hat direction. Therefore, the force that Q2 will feel when I place it at this point will be equal to the charge Q2 multiplied by the electric field it's exposed to, the electric field created by Q1. So this will give me Coulomb's constant K Q1 Q2 divided by R12 square in R12 hat direction. So this is basically Coulomb's law. K, product of the charges divided by distance between them squared. And because the two charges are positive here, they are both positive charges, it's a repulsive force, so it will be in the R12 hat direction. Uh, this is the basically internal force that develops between these two charges. So the force that I have to apply uh, to bring Q2 to this position is the external force. The external force is opposite of the internal force. So it's going to have a minus uh, sign. So I will see that the external force I have to apply that's the external force exerted by the external agent is minus the internal force that develops between Q1 and Q2. So this will be equal to minus Coulomb's constant K Q1 Q2 over R12 square in R12 minus R12 hat direction. So basically, there is a repulsive force that is going to develop between them. Therefore, the external agent must apply a force towards Q1 in minus R12 hat direction in order to bring this charge Q2 from infinity to its location. What is the work done? What is the work done by this external force? The work done by this external force will be 
the integral integral so I'm bringing this charge q2 from infinity to a radial distance a from q1 the dot product of the force with the displacement the force is minus k q1 q2 over r12 square r12 hat and the displacement is dr in r12 hat where dr is negative because i'm bringing it closer to q12 so what is the answer to this integral so the dot product of r12 hat with r12 hat the unit vectors pointing in the same direction is one so i obtain kq1 q2 over uh, r12 squared uh, d dr well dr12 that's the uh, displacement so i see that uh, this is going to be equal to plus kq1 q2 over r12 so the answer to this integral is k coulomb's constant q1 q2 over r12 which will be evaluated between infinity and radial distance a so this will give me k q1 q2 uh, over a if i evaluate it at infinity it's going to give me zero so minus zero here so that's uh, i don't have to write that down and when i place the charges here uh, so i have a total of I have a charge of E for each of them. So it's going to be K E square divided by A. So that is, it's a positive work. Uh, it, I need to do a positive work in order to bring this charge Q2 from infinity to its position here because there is a repulsive force that will develop between them. Now my task is done. I'm bringing charge Q3 from infinity to its position. Now uh, where I, I want to place Q3, I have two electric field components, electric field due to Q1 and electric field due to Q3. Electric field due to Q1 is in R13 hat direction. Electric field due to Q3 is in R23 hat direction. And it will be exposed, Q3 will be exposed to these two electric fields uh, at the same time all right so uh, what i'm doing now is now bringing q3 from infinity i have two electric fields electric field due to q1 plus the electric field due to Q2, because they have already been placed. Electric field due to Q1 will be uh, KQ1, KQ1 divided by R13 squared in R13 hat direction and then I have the electric field from Q2 which is K Q2 R23 hat direction divided by R23 square so there are two uh, parts to this electric field and as a result, because I, I, I feel these two electric field components here, there will be a force that will develop uh, on Q3. Force Q3 will feel is uh, Q3 multiplied with electric field created by Q1 plus Q3 multiplied with electric field created by Q2. So this will be 
k q1 q3 divided by r13 squared in r13 hat direction plus k q2 q3 k q2 q3 divided by r23 square in r23 hat direction that's the force it's going to feel the external force i have to apply in order to bring this charge to that location is minus the force it feels minus the force felt by uh, q3 so then i can calculate this work done by this external force work done by the external force is the integral from infinity to a minus k q1 q3 over r13 squared in r13 hat direction that's the external force that product with dr13 r13 hat force that product with displacement and then i have the second part integral from infinity to a minus k q2 q3 divided by r23 squared r23 hat dot dr23 r23 hat okay and this integral is identical to the one that i have uh, already calculated uh, before so this uh, it will give me uh, for the work done by the external agent to be k q1 q3 over a plus k q2 q3 over a similar to uh, k q1 q2 over a uh, when i brought charge 2 from infinity so these charges are uh, e plus e each and the distance r23 and r r13 are all equal to a so this is basically k e squared over a plus k e squared over a now i'm ready to calculate the net work done by this external force the total work done by this external force has three components there was work done in bringing charge q2 from infinity to a distance a from q1 ke e square over a and then there was work done in bringing charge q3 from infinity at a distance a from q1 and at a distance a from q2 which is also e square over a so i find that the network done is going to be 3 e square 3 e square now i have k 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 coulomb's constant times a all right so uh this is basically the answer to this question there is an alternative way to look at it or i can calculate uh, the potential created by charge one at the position of uh, charge two and charge three the potential created by charge one because it's a point charge is k q1 divided by a at a distance a and this potential appears at the location of q2 and q3 because they are equidistant from q1 
So uh, at the same time, the charge 2 creates a potential. Delta B2 is KQ2 over A at the position of Q3. When I bring, uh, so this is the first step. I bring Q1 from infinity. It creates a potential at the locations of Q2 and Q3. Then I bring Q2 from infinity. That creates a potential here at the position of Q3. So now I can calculate the potential energy uh, of charge 2. So I can see that the potential energy of charge 2 and charge 1 is Q2 delta V1. It is K Q1 Q2 over A. And then I can calculate potential energy of Q3, which is Q3 delta V1 plus Q3 delta V2, the potential created by Q2. And that's going to be equal to uh, K Q2 Q3 over A. Q1 Q3 over A. Uh, plus k q2 q3 over a all right uh, so what is the potential energy of this configuration the total configuration here having q1 q2 and q3 at these locations well for that i have to add up a u2 and u3 so i will find the total potential energy of this configuration U total is basically K over A Q1 Q2 plus Q1 Q3 plus Q2 Q3. And how about the work done by the external force? Work done by the external force is the change in the potential energy of the system. The initial potential energy of the system is zero because all charges were at infinite separation. The final potential energy of the system is this. The work done by the internal forces is minus the change in the potential energy. The internal force is the Coulomb force, which is a conservative force. So it is minus the gradient of potential energy. The force is minus the gradient of potential energy, which tells us that the work done by internal forces is minus delta U. All right. So I can now substitute for the electron charge 1.60 10 to minus 19 coulombs. A coulombs constant k is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 which is roughly 9.0 times 10 to 9 newton meter square divided by coulomb square uh, i have the separation between the charges a 2 femtometers 2.00 10 to minus 15 meters, which is 2 femtometers. Now I can calculate the work done, net work done by the external agent. It is uh, 3, 3 ke square over a, which is also here ke square, 3 ke square over a. That's the work done by the external agent. So this is going to be 3 e squared is 1.6 10 to minus 19 squared. Coulomb's constant 9 10 to 9 divided by A, which is 2 times 10 to minus 15 meters. And this gives us a network done by the external agent to be 3.46 times 10 to minus 13 
joules. If I divide this by the electron charge, I will obtain 2.16 mega electron volts. So that is the net work done by the external agent to make, create this configuration. Okay, so in this problem, we want to calculate how much work is needed to assemble an atomic nucleus containing three protons, such as lithium. We're modeling this as three protons forming an equilateral triangle with distance A of 10 to 2 times 10 to minus 15 meters, 2 femtometers from each other. And we know that this, uh, in order to calculate the energy of this configuration, we have to assume the protons started from very far away while well, they approached to their lo uh, final locations from infinity. So the first step, bringing Q1 from infinity, since there is no electric field or potential at this point because Q2 and Q3 are still at infinity, it costs no energy. When I bring Q2 from infinity, Q1 has an electric field at this point. Electric field multiplied by Q2 is the force and the force dot product with displacement from infinity to, to radial distance A gives me the work done by that force. Or alternatively, I can calculate the potential due to Q1, that is KQ1 over A at this position, multiplying it by the charge Q2. This gives me the potential energy of this configuration. Q1 in this location, Q2 in this location with a distance A between them. So it's KQ1, Q2 over A. When I bring Q3 from infinity also, there is the electric field created by Q1, electric field created by Q2, multiplying this total electric field with the charge tells me the internal force it will feel. The external agent has to apply minus the internal force to bring it here. Uh, integrating it from infinity to A, that product with the displacement, I can calculate the work done. Or I can say that Q1 creates a potential here, KQ1 over A. Q2 creates a potential here, KQ2 over A. Multiplying it with the charge, I calculate the potential energy of this configuration. So uh, the total potential energy is KQ1 Q3 over A plus KQ2 Q3 over A plus KQ, uh, Q, Q1 Q2 over A. So I have all of these uh, contributions. All right. So uh, that is this one. Now, uh, the, when I calculate the network done using the potential approach, looking at the potential energy, uh, total potential energy, K over A, Q1, Q2 plus Q1, Q3 plus Q2, Q3, I note that work done by the external agent is equal to the change in the potential energy it causes. Uh, at the same time, the work done by internal forces is minus the change in the potential energy. That's why we have a minus sign between the external force and the internal force. Internal force is the Coulomb force. And this is also true because the Coulomb force is a conservative force. So uh, plugging in the numbers for the electron charge, Coulomb's constant and uh, the distance between the protons, two femtometers, for each pair, we can calculate the network done by the external agent, which is 3.46 10 to minus 13 joules. If I divide this number with 1.6 10 to minus 19 uh, coulombs, the electron charge, I obtain 2.16 mega electron volts.